we're doing it. It's happening. Wait, are we doing it? Well, you've never thought about the repercussions of sleeping with a chick you've known your whole life? What are you, slow? Yeah, but if we're getting rich, you just explain to your private beforehand. Look, this doesn't mean anything. We're just doing this for cash. Wow. Yeah. I just can't believe Hi. Hi. I'm a delivery man, and I have some cream for you. This is the worst porno I've ever seen. Ah, uh, sugar. Can he slap my ass? Don't be a fucking pervert, dude. Do all my This is my review for Zach and Miri Make a Porno, released in 2008. I will start by saying that I have never seen a Kevin Smith film before this one. I get the impression though, well received, this wasn't as well received compared to other Kevin Smith movies. I've been looking forward to seeing this film ever since I heard the title, which made me laugh just based on the title. I saw this some time ago, but due to my university course I forgot to review it, so here it is. I have to say, I was a little disappointed by this movie. I'll start out with the good. Seth Rogen was great as usual and handled well the emotional stuff along with the comedic moments. Elizabeth Banks is also great and further proves to be one of the best comedic actresses in a long time. However, if you ask me which was the best factor of this movie, without a doubt it would be Craig Robinson who plays Rogen's character, uh, Rogen's character's friend Delaney. Craig was also one of the scene stealers in Pineapple Express. I hope this guy lands a lead soon. He's a great comedic talent. Justin Long's cameo was very, very funny and by far his best role, um, in my opinion, so far in his career. As I said though, I didn't love everything about this movie. I didn't like the character of the director in the movie. I didn't really find the scenes where they try and make the pornos funny and point out the cliches of pornos I didn't find that very funny, as let's face it, making fun of porn movies is an easy target and has been done many times before. Apart from the characters I mentioned liking before, every, pretty much every other character, oh, bar Delaney's wife, um, pretty much didn't make me laugh once. Uh, there were one, one too many moments that passed without making me laugh. Of course, every film, especially humour, is subjective, and I can see that the jokes Though they didn't make me laugh will appeal to some people, just not me. Sometimes I didn't know whether to laugh or hurl, and maybe that's a good thing. The scene with the female porn star and the cameraman come to mind. All in all, it did make me laugh out loud a good few times, just not nearly as many as I expected. I was in fact a little bored by this movie at times. And I think it was those moments that kind of dragged it down, because when Seth Rogen was on top of his game, he further goes to prove that he's one of the best comedic talents in a long time, as is Craig Robinson and Elizabeth Banks. It's just a shame that, for me at least, the other moments didn't quite uh, make up for that or kind of equal that. But, you know, it's a good movie, just not as good as I thought it was going to be. I'm an actor. Wow. Anything I've seen? Oh, all sorts of movies with all male casts. All male casts? Like Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross? Like Glenn and Gary suck Ross's meaty cock. Is that like a sequel? 